get to reporter Daniela Leone. She's at the airport this morning talking to travelers how they feel. And I know this is kind of an anxious time with the weather like this. Man, yeah, I tell you, Lindsay, it's one problem after the next. So we were out here. I was under the impression you know, we were going to talk about flight cancellations. But take a look at this. I met my friends here, Lot and Paul. They've been out here at KCI since midnight. Their plane arrived yesterday, and you guys haven't been able to get home because there are no ride shares or taxis available. Tell me about your experience. Correct. So uh, we, we got here on time, um, and by the time we got our bags, 200 people got their apps out and tried to get a ride share. And there was zero ride shares. I mean, and look at the charges, yeah. you guys. He has a, a charge. You, you tried multiple times. So, and you're trying to get to Shawnee, right? Yes. So every time you uh, book a ride share, they, they bill you. And so uh, my largest bill is $104, oh, right? Insane. Yeah, there. And Paul, you were telling me people were breaking down crying yesterday because there were hundreds of people out here just trying to get home. Yeah, exactly. As well, uh, a lot of these people are freaked out. Like I had these charges too, did not know where they're exactly coming from. And you know, a lot of people are getting overdrafted on their accounts probably, um, or at least they think they might be having that happening. Um, as well, you know, you can call the taxi here and that taxi, they're just, it's a person that answers and says, yeah, we don't have anything running right now. And then if you want a rental, you have to go outside, wait in negative five degree weather, wait for a bus that comes every 10 minutes. And then eventually get to a rental facility, which is completely closed, which does not say that online either. It's Try like calling nothing. The rental place says that they are open, and when you get there, they're, they're closed. Yeah. Oh, I bet you guys are exhausted. Good news, though, your family is saving the day, or your family is saving the day. Yeah. My, my family is going to come here, and uh, <laughs> he's going to pick us up, and maybe we could go get some coffee or yeah. some food. There's no food here, too, so yeah. yeah so, uh, it's been a long Night. But you know what it is, man. It's 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 just it's just a season. You got to smile and um, just go and enjoy your family and just not let this ruin the uh, experience. Yeah, I was gonna say these guys just became buddies. My friend Paul over here showed him the Midwest charm over here to my friend Lot. All right, Lindsay, I'm gonna send it back to you guys. But yeah, it's just one problem after the next. So if you do have to be out here at KCI or have to leave KCI, uh, just plan for a lot of time. But hopefully people will make it home for Christmas. Back to you. No kidding. Good grief. I'm glad they are getting somewhere after a long, long night. Daniela, thank you very much.